A few days ago, I went over every single item shop skin to figure out which skins were only in the item shop for two days or less. To my surprise, there are a lot more than anyone would be able to guess. But to be honest with you, I thought there was going to be more skins that were only in the item shop for one day and then they were never released again. There are a few that I will be showcasing on this list, but definitely not as many as I was thinking. But with my research, I did end up figuring out if there is a bad skin, Epic Games will release it for one day, obviously when it's new, and then it most likely doesn't sell that well, so then they'll save it for a month or two or even a little bit more, and then re-release that skin and see if it sells well the next time. If it doesn't end up selling well, and this is only my speculation, they could have other reasons for doing this, but for the most part I would say, then it's never released again. If you guys could, make sure to drop a sub and use my code COBESMIND, guys. I would appreciate it. Let's hop into it. So I was going to go over every single item shop skin that hadn't been seen in the item shop for two days or more, but since there are so many, I'm not going to be mentioning all of the ones in the past 365 days or less. Because there are certain sets that just came out, something like the Hedron and the ISO that came out on January 7th, those were only in the item shop for two days, but they were last seen a little bit over seven days ago. Or something like the Bedhead Brigade said all five of those skins were only in the item shop for one day and they were last seen a little bit over 45 days ago but I wanted to go over certain skins in the last 365 days that I believe will never come back out or it will take years for these to come back out we have Cobb and mincemeat only in the item shop for two days released on November 25th they were last seen a little bit over 50 days ago, and I can easily see these ones never coming back to the item shop. I don't really see how these could. They're such horrible skins. I don't think anyone likes them. They're not even like the so bad they're good skins. They're just trash. I also wanted to mention Dio. He was in the item shop for two days, released on August 17th of 2020. And he was last seen a little bit over 115 days ago. The reason why I wanted to mention this skin, I feel like any female to male reskin, there's a good possibility that that it can be perceived as one of the worst skins in the game, and this is one of them. Next up, we have Bun Bun, who was released for two days on April 12th, 2020, and he was last seen a little bit over 280 days ago. This is one of those trash skins that I hope doesn't come back out. And I know it's an Easter skin, but I feel like even when Easter rolls around, this is not going to be a skin that comes back out. I feel like it's so bad that they don't even want to waste their time even like editing it into the item shop why would they do it no one's gonna buy it and on that same day that the bun bun came out we have the quackling i feel like these skins were so poorly received that again i think the quackling won't come back out for a very long time all right guys it's time to get into the list of all of the skins that were released over a year ago and were only in the item shop for two days or less and I will have a last scene and their release date if you guys want to see that because there will be a little picture on screen so you guys can sort of follow along. And that way I don't have to say it for each one of these so we can talk a little bit more about what I think about these skins. The Depth Dealer was only in the item shop for two days, and I don't really care for this skin, guys. There's not much more to say. We have the Arctica up next, who's only seen in the item shop for two days, and guys, this skin is pretty dope. I like it, and I'm always a huge fan of sweatier skins that, to me, seem a little bit more creative. And this is one of those skins that just seems a little bit more creative. We also have the Wrangler that was seen for two days. This one is just pretty bad. I don't have much to say for it since it is so simple. I feel like it is, I guess, somewhat unique. I don't feel like we have too many skins like this, but I also think that not many people care to get a skin like this. 
Next up, we have the Smoke Dragon and the Jade Racer. These were both seen in the item shop for two days. They are a part of the same set, and they're both amazing. The Smoke Dragon's pickaxes actually came into the item shop maybe four or five days ago at this point. And when I saw those, I'm like, oh my god, I love this design. For the Smoke Dragon and the Jade Racer, they're such great skins. I don't see why they don't come back out. Again, the Arctica reminds me of the jade racer they're both unique sweaty skins that are different from the rest the smoke dragon is one of those hooded characters that we have a lot of but he definitely takes it up a notch the color schemes for both of these skins are absolutely amazing and if these skins come back out you guys better get a hold of at least one of them Next up, we have the Trench Raider, and this one is no good. To me, this seems like the most typical standard skin in the game that we've gotten about 15 or 100 of. There's nothing unique about this skin, and I don't know why it was even created. I get Epic Games making very simple sweaty skins. If they are female, I guess they could make male skins like that. But those sell well. This one, who is this appealing to? Next up, we have the Bull Shark, and this is another just bad skin, in my opinion. Next up, we have the Gun, and I like this skin. I think it's good. I think the color scheme is good as well. But sometimes, guys, maybe you like something like the Trench Raider when I absolutely hate it. And maybe you hate the Gun when I actually like it. This is all subjective opinion, but I think at the end of the day, Day, the main thing it comes down to is whether these skins sell well and they just don't. I feel like the gun just is one of those skins that doesn't sell well and that's why it's not in the shop. We have the Bright Blaster who was only seen in the item shop for one day. This is pretty surprising. I know the Bright Gunner sold very well because of his back bling. So I feel like Epic Games might have misconstrued that information as the Bright Gunner being a good skin. For me and a lot of people out there, I feel like the Bright Gunner isn't all that good, but the back bling is sick. So Epic Games thought they would make another skin similar to the Bright Gunner that people don't really care for, and they would cash in. That did not work here, and it's pretty obvious as to why it didn't. This skin doesn't have a good back bling, and it's not a good skin. I feel like we'll never see this one again. If you guys own this, you own an ultra rare skin. Skin. This could be the rare skin in the game, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was in the top 10. Next up, we have the Arrow Nat, last seen over 420 days ago. That's absolutely insane. And this one came out in the Sky Stalker set. Obviously, not a fan favorite skin with the Sky Stalker. The Arrow Nat is a better version of the Sky Stalker, but I still think it's not all that good. We have the Hard Charger, last seen 450 days ago, and this is a basic skin. This is sort of similar to the Trench Raider in my opinion. Just one of those skins that we don't need. For everything in life, if you're trying to be successful, you have to fill a void. If you're making a product, it has to fill a void that people didn't even know they needed. The Hard Charger doesn't fill any void. It's one of the worst skins ever created for how basic it is, and there's absolutely no appeal to it. Last seen 470 days ago, we actually have three skins, the Snake Pit, Knockout, and Deadfall. And these skins come from the Seed Strike set, and they were only seen in the item shop for one day. The Vice also comes in the same set, and obviously all these skins are very, very similar, but the Vice has been seen in the item shop seven times. So obviously that is the fan favorite edit style, and the rest of these skins just suck. It's when Epic Games releases 10, 20, 50, 1,000 different skins like the Mogul Masters, who all have the same skin design with different edit styles, but they're all separate and you have to pay for each one of them. This was never going to work. There's no reason why someone would like a skin like this, and especially if there's four of them. If the Vice came out by itself, it would be a great uncommon skin, but with all of these next to it, it drags it down significantly. 
Next up, we have the Sure Shot, who is only seen for one day. That is insane. This, like the Bright Blaster, might be one of the rare skins in the game. This is, again, another one of those skins that was a female to male reskin that nobody asked for and nobody wanted. This is one of the worst skins in the game. I hate it. We have the Sledge, which obviously a lot of people want because of that new edit style. It's dope. I love it. And I really hope it comes back because of the new edit style. But you can't release a skin with horrible edit styles or a horrible base stage. End up giving it a sick edit style and never release it again. It doesn't make sense. Next up, we have the Shot Caller. And I'm not going to make any school jokes about this one ever again. But I think it sort of speaks for itself. This is one of those skins that just sits in the back of the Fortnite class and doesn't really talk to anybody. I'm scared of this skin and not in a good way. I don't like it. Next up we have the pillar he was only in the item shop for two days and i think i can understand why i feel like all meme skins are either hit or miss the fish stick and all of his reskins are a hit the peely and all of his reskins are a hit the pillar is a miss and that's as simple as it comes Next up, we have the Cloud Breaker, last seen a little bit over 630 days ago. And this one is very similar to the Hard Charger. It's not filling a void. We already have too many pilot skins, and this one is nothing special. I hate it. So for two skins that I needed to mention because they were last seen almost over 700 days ago, we have the Reflex and the Instinct. The Reflex I wanted to mention, obviously it was an exclusive so more people have it, but the Instinct could be one of the most rare skins in the game. The reason why it doesn't come back to the shop is because of the Reflex. I'm assuming since it's a reskin of the Reflex, well, maybe Nvidia said, you know what, that's a reskin, you're not going to sell that because you already came up with the design of the Reflex for us. So maybe Epic Games legally can never resell the Instinct, but again, we're gonna have to wait and see. And guys, possibly the rare skin in the game, last seen over 700 days ago, we have the Kit Bash. He was only in the item shop for two days, and thankfully I got this skin because I do believe it is one of the most rare in the game. And it's coming up on two years that we haven't seen this skin in the item shop. I think this skin isn't all that good, but it does have a good good back bling and I feel like if it comes back out the sweats will definitely get it well you guys are gonna have to tell me what you think did you guys know that there were this many skins it's almost like 50 skins that have only been in the item shop for two days it's absolutely insane to think about but I'm sort of excited to see if any of these skins come back to the game because I would definitely be down for them but thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and use my code COBESMIND. Make sure to tell me, guys, in the comment section what other types of videos you'd like to see based on the item shop, because I could definitely make them. Hope you guys have a great one. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.